we have a full body bar class today. Um, so for equipment, what you're going to use today are two yoga blocks. I know, a little different than normal. Um, if you don't have yoga blocks, no big deal. You could absolutely grab a couple of big thick books instead. Um, really what you need is something that you're able to stand on successfully. We're also going to be using the yoga block for arm work, but you could grab a set of like weights in place of the yoga block as well. So go ahead and set the blocks or whatever equipment you're using today off to the side and meet me in a wide turned out position. So you're going to turn the legs out and you're going to sink the hips down. Take the hands to the heart. Softly roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, rise. Extend the arms down. Go down and up. Yes, it's a wide turn out and it's a full range of motion here. So in this position, you have a nice external rotation with your thigh bones, meaning you're letting your inner thighs rotate up to the ceiling while your hips stay pointing towards me. Now you're going to get a nice opening for the hips here. You're going to start to build some heat down in the lower body. And then we start to elevate the heart rate a little bit. You have two more here. Go down. And press. Last one goes down. And press. Now hold it low. Little pulse of the hips. Go little down, little up. Little down, little up. Drive down through the heels. And then actively squeeze the heels in towards each other. You're going to feel a little bit more rotation in the inner thighs. And a little bit more heat into the glutes. You have eight more pulses. Eight. And go six. Here for four, three, two, rotate to the right, sweep the arms high, inhale. As you exhale, hands come to the heart. You're gonna bend that back left knee to a hover, coming into your lunge. Take a big breath in, squaring the hips. As you exhale, hinge the torso forward. Just like that, inhale, you lift. Exhale, you hinge. Now as you hinge the torso forward, you're stacking your shoulders over that front right knee. But the shape of your legs isn't changing at all. You have two more here. Go lift and hinge. The last one, lift it up. Now hold that hinge, little pulse of the hips. Go a little down, little up, little down, little up. Ground down through your right heel. And actually pull your right hip bone back. You have eight more here. Go eight, six, go four, three, two. Hands to the mat. Extend that back left leg long. Take a big breath in. Find a low lunge. As you exhale, reach the right fingertips high, taking a nice little twist. Maybe you circle to the right wrist here, big breath in. Exhale, reverse your circle. Inhale, open the heart. As you exhale, you're going to quarter turn to face me, finding a wide leg with forward fold. Maybe you sway the hips from side to side. Maybe you sway the upper body. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, soften the knees. Drop the tail and slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Legs are going to stand parallel, bend into that right knee, skitter lunges, go left and right. Yes, it's left and right. Option the arms reach, and then you extend them back behind you. So arms go forward and back, yes. So now, unlike wide turnout, your legs are in parallel. So all ten toes are pointing forward. Your hips are reaching way back, just like they would in a squat and your torso is hinging forward over the front knee. You're here for four, three, two. Hold this one to the left, inhale. Exhale, quarter turn to the left. Lift the heart, big breath in. Exhale, hands to prayer. And then bend that back right knee, coming into a lunge. Drive down to the front left heel. Pull your left hip bone back, inhale. Exhale, torso hinges forward. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, you hinge. Yes. So as you hinge forward, I'm hoping you feel a little bit more work into the back of that front leg. So the left glutes and the left hamstring heat up a little bit. Again, legs are not changing shape. Torso is just hinging forward. The last one right here, hinge it forward, hold it. Little pulse of the hips, go a little down, little up, little down, little up. Actively pull your left heel back and feel length to the low spine. Eight more here, go eight. And go six. And go four, three, two. Hands to the mat, send that right leg long, find your low lunge. Sweep the left fingertips high, taking a nice gentle twist. Maybe you circle around to the left wrist. Big inhale. Reverse your circle as you exhale. Inhale, open the heart. On your exhale, bring that left hand down to the mat, tap down all fours. 
grab one of your blocks, and you're going to bring it high in between your thighs. Now I want you to tuck your toes. Squeeze the block, inhale, and as you exhale, lift your knees to a hover to start to squeeze the block. Go in, and in, and in. Now as you squeeze the block, I want you to really feel your inner thighs fire up. So we're in a bare plank position here. Shoulders are stacked over the wrists, and hips are stacked over the knees. So you're in an all fours, nice 90-90 position. The spine is in neutral. So press the back of the head towards the ceiling, and then really lift up through the low belly to maintain length through your low back. Now hold the squeeze on the block. Tap your knees down to the mat. Exhale, lift to a hover. It's inhale, tap. And exhale, hover. Yes, two more, it's tap. And hover, last one goes down. Now I want you to hold that hover, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift your hips, downward dog. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, imagine pressing the block back behind you, using your inner thighs. So you get this nice internal rotation of the femur bones, the thigh bones, really opening up to the low spine. Take an inhale. As you exhale, roll through the spine, come to your high plank. Tap down onto your forearms, forearm plank. Now from here, really actively pull the elbow tips back as you inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze the block and you're gonna feel your low belly lift up. Now both knees bend and tap. Exhale, send them long. It's inhale, bend. And exhale, reach, yes. So as you bend your knees, I want you to actively lift the low abdominals so you're not letting your hips drop at all. We're keeping the hips in one location, one spot, and we're just allowing the knees to bend and press. It's asking a lot of your abdominals to do that. Just continue to squeeze the block and breathe. Two more here, inhale. Exhale, last one goes bend. Now hold the extension, really actively squeeze the block. Draw the heart forward and push the forearms down into the mat, helping to spread the shoulder blades wider. Just hold and breathe. You're here for four, here for three, here for two. Tap the knees, child's pose. Take the block out. Big toes come together. Knees open to as wide as it feels good for you. Hmm. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, walk yourself up to seated. Swing your legs around in front of you. Keep the block. Block is going to come onto your belly as you bend your knees and glue your legs together. Inhale, sit really tall. And as you exhale, you're going to hinge back. One long line, beautiful. From there, I want you to scoop the pubic bone towards the belly button so you round the low spine. Take the block in your hands and extend it forward. Yeah. Just come back an inch and up an inch. Little back, little up. So I want you to actively squeeze the block between your hands here. And please know that this, if this is all hip flexors, you can ditch the block anytime and hold back on behind your thighs, okay? So you do want your hip flexors to be active here, right? But let this be more about the deep core, the transverse abdominus, the obliques, than the hip flexors. As you come back an inch, you want to scoop the pubic bone up towards the belly button and press your sacrum down into the mat. As you come up an inch, I want you to imagine the back side of your rib cage getting pulled back behind you so that you can curl your heart up and over the front low ribs. Yeah, you're here for four, three, two, Hold that curl, squeeze the block, go a little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze, beautiful. As you squeeze the block, you're gonna really activate through the biceps, through the triceps, and definitely into the shoulders and the pectoral muscles. So actively push into the block and feel how much heat you can build through the arms and the chest. You're here for eight, six, you're here for four, three. You're gonna hold the squeeze on the block, inhale. As you exhale, float the block up and lower it down. It's exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Yeah, keep squeezing the block between your palms. Continue to feel your sacrum pushing down into the mat here. 
Two more, exhale. Inhale, last one goes, exhale. Inhale, now exhale, float the block high. Squeeze the block between the palms, inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows, draw the block into the heart, little twist of the chest goes right and left, little right, little left, yes, it's right and left. So this twist is really small. We're not letting our hips move. It's our ribs that are twisting right and left. Inner thighs are squeezing together. And again, you can always ditch the block and grab on behind your thighs. Four sets, go four. Three, two, the last one right, the last one left, inhale. Exhale, extend the arms one more time. Squeeze the block and take a little bend stretch. Go bend, reach, bend, reach. So elbows are bending and reaching. Go bend, reach, bend, reach, yes. Really actively squeeze the block as much as you can. Feel your biceps fire a little deeper. Beautiful. You have eight more. Go eight. Six. You're here for four. Three. Two. Hold that reach. Inhale. Exhale. Sacrum pushes down to the mat and you sink maybe two inches lower. Maybe the block reaches up towards the sky. Hold it here for four. Get lower. Hold it here for three. Yes. Hold it here for two. Up and over. High plank. Squeeze the block between the thighs. Extend the arm, legs long behind you. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, I want you to shift forward to the tiptoes. And then maybe you tap the knees and draw the heels to the seat. Two count, you push up, down for two. Lift it up for two. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we press. Beautiful. It's inhale down. And exhale, lift. So make sure as you push up here that your chin is not dropping down to your chest. The back of the head is pressing up towards the ceiling. And it's the heart that really leads this movement to like that, it's down. And press, last one here, inhale, we lower. Exhale, we press, it's tempo, go down and up. Yes, elbows are going out at a 45 degree angle. Shoulders are softening down your back. Shoulder blades are wrapping in towards one another. You have four more, go four. Three, two, hold this one halfway down to squeeze the block, go squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Yes, you've got this. Keep squeezing, you have eight more, let's go. It's eight, six, one inch lower, four, three, two, puppy dog pose, hips high. Walk the fingertips forward and let the forehead melt down into your mat. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Walk yourself up onto your knees. Take the block out from in between your thighs. You're going to hinge your torso forward here and stay with me. You're going to take the block behind you between your palms. So just like you were in that abdominal work that we just did, we're going to actively squeeze the block between our hands. It's just that this time it's behind our back. Ready? Squeeze the block. Go and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. So torso is hinging forward here. And you're going to start to feel some heat build pretty quickly into your triceps. So it may not be the smoothest looking thing you've ever done, <laughs> but what I want you to find is that you're building a lot of heat into the backside of the upper arms. Go eight. Yes. Go six. Here for four. Three. Hold the squeeze on the block. Just lift the arms. Little up. Little up. Little up. Yes. Now actively roll the shoulder blades down the back and open up across the collarbones. Maybe you try to get the arms a little straighter, really energizing through the fingers, and continue to squeeze the hands into the block. Go eight, six, here for four, three. Hold the up, it's a little bend of the elbows, and then it's a big stretch. Pick it up, go bend, reach, bend, reach. Yes, keep going. This is your final variation here. Things will change soon, I promise. You just have eight more, go eight. You do have a hold. You're there in four, three, two. Hold that extension, inhale, squeeze the block. Exhale, maybe lift the arms one inch higher as you extend the arms a little straight here. Hold it here for four. Hold it here for three. Hold it here for two. Sweep the block around in front of you. Squeeze the block between your hands. Bend the elbows in half 
and finding a nice 90 degree angle here. Start to press, little up, little lift, little lift, yeah. Now if this bothers your knees, you're totally welcome to stand anytime, okay? You can also roll your mat up so you have a little bit more cushion underneath the knees. Now just like earlier, I feel like the theme for this class, the motto for this class should be squeeze the block. <laughs> So again, I want to ask you to squeeze the block between your palms. You guys are like, I'm going to throw this flipping block right at you. <laughs> you can if you want to at the end, that's totally fine. Now, the more you squeeze the block though, the more you're going to really feel this heat building in your biceps and into your shoulders. Eight more, here I go, eight, six, here for four, three, hold that squeeze, extend the arms out and curl, goes reach and bend. Yes, hammer curls drawing the elbow tips in towards one another and then really noticing as you send the arms long do your shoulders shift back see if you can keep the abdominal engagement that allows your shoulders to stay stacked over the hips here you have four more go four three two hold the bend squeeze your elbows in and in and in yes so you're drawing your elbows in towards one another Elbow tips are in line with the armpits, at least that high, right? And shoulders are soft. Beautiful. It's eight, six, it's four, three, two, inhale. Exhale, really actively pull the elbows in a little closer. Soften through the shoulders and know that you only have one more variation. Back to that straight arm in three. Straight arms in two. Send the arms long, theme of the class. Squeeze the block. Yes. It's a down and inch up. Go little down, little up, little down, little up. Now feel your shoulders soften down away from your ears. Let your collarbones get a little wider. And then continue to press both hands into the block, really firing up through the biceps here. It's eight in the hold. Go eight. Six. Here for four. Three. Two. Hold that lift. Inhale. As you exhale, I want you to extend your arms a little straighter and then squeeze into the block with all your might. Hold it here for four. Hold it here for three. Hold it here for two. Set the block down at the top on the front edge of your mat. Take your other block and stack them together. So you have this nice wide base for your foot. From here, go ahead and come on up to stand and bring your left foot onto the blocks. You're gonna rise up onto the ball of the right foot and then I want you to come to a squat position. So hips are gonna draw back. And just take a moment here to really establish this position. You're driving down through your left heel. Your hip bones are pulling back and the low belly band is hugging in to help elongate the low spine. Yeah, from here you just go down an inch, up an inch, little down, little lift, beautiful. So today's class is gonna look a little different. We're actually not gonna separate out thighs and glutes today. We're gonna to merge them together. So this left leg is gonna get a lot of love for about the next 10 minutes. Then we'll do it all over again on the right leg, okay? So it's gonna be thighs, glute combo for the left and then for the right. Beautiful. You have four more here, go for Three, two, slow it down, full range of motion. You inhale, rise. You exhale, squat, yeah. Take it up and up. Take it back and back. So as you rise, you push through the left heel, really actively squeezing the left glute at the top. As you squat, I want you to pull the hips back as you hinge the upper body forward. Two more, inhale, we rise. Exhale, we squat. Last one up. You're gonna take this one down, hold it low, inhale. Exhale. Now two counts, you lower your hips. Come up just halfway. It's inhale down and exhale lift. So again, this offset position of our feet is going to give a lot more work to your left quadriceps up here and totally your left glute as well. As you come down, I want you to imagine pulling your sits bones back towards the baseboard of the wall behind you. Two more, it's down and lift. Last one, take it down, hold it. It's a little pulse with the hips. Go a little down, little up, little down, little up. Continue to pull the left hip bone back. Continue to drive to the left heel. And continue to feel the low abdominals hugging in 
to help support your low back here. Go eight, go six, here for four, three, two, stay low, inhale. Exhale, sink the hips. Quarter turn to the left. Left foot is still on the blocks. Right foot is gonna step back behind you. Now I want you to drop that right knee down, coming into a lunge position. Just like your warm up, hinge the upper body forward here. So shoulders stack over this front left knee, beautiful. From here, it's a little pulse. Go a little down, a little up. Yes, go a little down, a little up. So left foot is on your two blocks. You're driving down through that left heel and then actively pulling the left hip bone back here. We're gonna come into a little bit of balance work. As you transition into that, please never hesitate to take a hand to a wall for a little bit of extra support. Two more, go down. The last one, go down. Now take this down, hold it. Actively push through your left heel, take a big breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna draw the right knee into the chest and come all the way up to stand on that left foot up on the block, yeah. And then right leg is gonna step back behind you. You're gonna drop that right knee and come back in to that hinged lunge position. Four counts go up, two, three, four. Four counts go back, two, three, four. Again, it's lift, two, three. Squeeze the outer left seat, two, three. Yeah, keep it nice and slow and really feel your left heel that drives down into the blocks to help bring you up. Now, the more you can slow this down, the more you're gonna really work all the muscles that help support your balance. Two more, go lift. Two, three, four. Take it back. Two, three. The last one here, go lift. Two, three, four. Take it back. You're gonna hold that lunge position, drop your hips, go a little drop, little drop, little drop. Left hip bone pulls back. Push down through the left heel, and then actively squeeze your inner thighs towards one another, drop and drop. Shoulders stay stacked over that front left knee. And again, spine is really long here. You're here for 16, here for 12. Could you soften in your face or in your shoulders just a little bit more? You're here for four, three, two, stay low, inhale. Final variation here. As you exhale, I want you to try to tap your right knee down to the mat. And then on your inhale, I want you to lift back up. Whoa, it's that hinge lunge, yes. So it's exhale, lower, tap, down. It's inhale, lift, stay low. Ooh, two more, take it, exhale. Take it, inhale. Last one, take it down. Hold that tap. I know, great news, right? <laughs> Sweep your right leg around. Keep your left foot on the blocks. And come all the way and lay back on your back. Oh, that feels amazing. One more time, I want you to lift up onto the ball of your right foot. Push through your left heel and lift your seat up to a hover in a low bridge position. The yeah, upwards tap the seat to the mat. We squeeze to lift. Inhale, you tap. Exhale, you lift. A little faster down and squeeze. Goes, tap, and lift. Beautiful. So you're still in that offset position with the feet, right? Same position you had in your squat. What this position does is isolate that single elevated leg. So we're going to take a little bridge series here. That's going to be a lot of work into the left side, the glutes, the hamstrings, and definitely into the core as well to help stabilize you. Four more, go four. Three, two, you're gonna hold the seat at a hover, take a big breath in. As you exhale, let's just soften your rib cage down so you're not flaring open to the ribs. Now float the right leg up, take it to a little march. And then let your right leg tap back down, pressing the ball of feet to the mat, two counts, it's exhale, lift. And inhale lower. You march it up. You tap it down. Beautiful. Left foot is pushing into your blocks. Now notice here, if your right hip is dipping down, use the strength of your core to stabilize your pelvis, keeping your hips in line with each other. Two more. Exhale, we lift. 
Inhale, we tap. Last one up. And down now, float the right leg to a hover. If you're up for it, extend the right leg to the sky. Push down through the left heel into the block and start to lift your seat little up. Little lift, little lift, little lift. Yes, little pulse. Little up, little up. Beautiful. Drive down to the left heel and feel the left hamstrings really firing up here. Now you can add some extra work for your right quadricep by really squeezing the right quad and pointing to the right toes. If you feel like you're taking a lot of tension into your face and neck, maybe send the fingertips up and really try to soften the shoulders down into the mat. Go eight, six, you're almost there. Go four, three, two, hold that up, inhale. As you exhale, maybe you send the fingertips up if they're not already there. One more time, inhale. This time on your exhale, you're gonna reach the right leg and the arms away from each other. Then you're gonna pull them right back in. It's exhale out. And inhale in, beautiful. Ribs hug in. Low belly draws down and your seat is still in that little hover position. Two more, exhale, you reach, you've got this. Inhale, pull it in. The last one out. And in now, take everything out, find your hold. Maybe you push your left heel into the block and lift your seat just one more inch. Hold here four, yes. Hold here three, you've got this. Hold here two, Woo. tap your seat down and hug your knees into your chest. Letting yourself rock from side to side. Take a moment. Feel how deeply you've just worked that left side. Amazing work. Now get yourself fired up, because we got the other side to do. Find out whatever way is your favorite way to get to standing. Now I'm gonna bring my blocks to the other side of the mat so that I'm still facing you. You do not have to do that. But blocks are next to each other, so you have plenty of space for your feet. Right foot comes on the blocks. The left foot lifts up to the ball of the foot. So the ball presses down and the heel is up. Come into your squat. Yeah, it's a little range. Go a little down, little up, little down, little up. So all of that love for the right side now. <laughs> yeah, you've got this. Really actively push your right heel down and feel your hips drawing back. Now inner thighs are pressing away from each other so you can stabilize the knees over the second and third toe. Spine is nice and long. The sides of the waist are wrapping in. The low belly is drawing in. And the front low ribs are knitting together. Four, three, two. Slow it down, full range of motion. It's inhale, rise for two. Exhale, squat for two. Yes, take it up and up. Take it down and down. So again, I want you to really actively push through your right heel and squeeze your right glute to bring you up. As you come down, imagine somebody is taking their thumbs to your hip creases, and they're actively pulling your hips back as you lower. Yeah, that should really be what initiates a squat. It's not the knees bending, but the hips going back. Two more, inhale. Exhale, last one goes up. Now hold this one low. Two counts takes you down for two. Lift up just halfway. It's inhale down and exhale up, beautiful. Now notice here, as you come up, are you lifting so high that you no longer feel like it's a challenge? So this isn't the longest series in the world for the thighs. So I'm gonna challenge you to stay really low, okay? You've got this, two more, go down and lift. The last one goes down. Now take it down, hold it there. It's a little pulse with the hips. Go a little down, little up, little down. Inner thighs are pressing away from each other. Shoulders are soft. And allow your ears to actively lengthen away from you. So you get a little bit more length to the sides of the neck here. You have 16 more, go 16. Go 12. You'll hold it low in eight, in six. You're there in four, three, two. Stay low, inhale. Exhale, get lower. Try to stay low as you quarter turn to the right. 
Right foot stays on the blocks. Left foot shimmies back. Bend both knees into that lunge. And then hinge your torso forward so it stacks over the front right knee. Beautiful. One inch range. Go a little down, a little up, a little down, a little lift. So feel free to play with adjusting your feet as wide or as narrow as you need. Your ideal position here is going to be that back left knee either under your left hip or just slightly behind it. And your front right knee is stacked over your front right ankle. That's no matter where your back leg is. Yeah, you're here for four, three, two, stay low, inhale. As you exhale, push through the right heel, slow it down as you draw the left knee up, coming to stand up on that block. And then left leg steps back as you slowly come right back into that hinge lunge position. Four counts go lift, two, three, four, four counts go back, two, three, four, again it's lift, Two, three, squeeze the outer right seat back. Two, three, single low and that lunge, it's up. So if balance is an issue for you today, don't hesitate to take your right hand to a wall and use that to help stabilize you. Go back. Two, three, we have two more. Inhale. Breathe. The last one, do a little slower up. Two, three, four, take it back. Two, hold it low, little pulse of the hips, go a little down, little up, little down, little up. Drive down to the right heel. Actively pull the right hip bone back and squeeze the inner thighs in. You just have that final variation of tapping the left knee down to the mat and lifting it back up to the hover. Now, if that is not an option for you, if that didn't feel good for you on the first side, then just imagine Tapping the left knee down. You're here for eight, six. Here for four, three, two, hold, inhale. As you exhale, left knee taps down to the mat. On your inhale, you lift it up. Coming back to that hinge lunge. Three more, exhale. Tap it down, yes. Inhale. Hinge lunge, you're halfway there. Exhale, down. And inhale, lift. Last time you get to keep it down, exhale. Tap that left knee down, and then swing your left leg around, keeping your right foot on the blocks. Come all the way back onto your back for that bridge position. Lift up onto the ball of the left foot. Take an inhale. As you exhale, squeeze the glutes, and hover the seat in that low bridge. It's inhale, tap. And exhale, lift. Tap it down. And squeeze, lift, do it faster, go down. And lift, yes. So left heel is lifted. Right heel is actively pressing down into your blocks. So you're getting a lot more work into the right glutes and into the right hamstring. Really the left leg is just there as like a little kickstand, a little bit of support. If you find that you get really tense in the upper body, again, extend the arms up. I find that that really helps me soften my shoulders. You can also play, which is kind of resting your hands on your belly as well. But I find I get really tense in my shoulders if I do that. Go for it. <laughs> Three, two, keep this one at a hover. Take an inhale. As you exhale, float the left leg up, finding a march position. And as you inhale, left toes, tap back down. Yes, two counts, it's exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. It's exhale, up. And inhale, down. Now use the strong abdominals here to keep your hips totally stable. So as you're marching your left leg up, you're not letting your left hip drop down towards the floor. The back side of your rib cage is still wrapping in and down towards your mat. Yeah, and your face is still really soft. Two more, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. The last one up. And down, now take that march up and hold it. You can stay here, maybe you extend the left leg to straight. Little lifts with the right glute, go a little up, little up, little up, little up, yes. Squeeze the left quarters up and extend energy out to the left toes. Now be sure that you're not arching through your back here. What's happening to lift you is a squeeze of your right glute. Yes, go squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. You're here for eight. Six, 
here for four, three, two, hold that up, inhale. Now if you're not already there, maybe you reach your fingertips high as you exhale. One more time, inhale. As we exhale, we reach left leg and arms away. Inhale, we pull them in. Yes, two counts, it's reach. And in. You've got this, reach it out, yes. And pull it in two more times, goes out. And in, the last one goes out. And in, now take this out and find your hold. Soften your shoulders, soften your ribs, squeeze through your right glute and hold it here for four. Right heel down for three. You're here for two. Tap your seat, hug your knees in. Ooh, amazing work. Rock yourself from side to side, massaging out the low back. And when you feel ready, grab one of your blocks and bring it into your hands. Quick abdominal series to finish down here on the mat. Legs are gonna come to this tabletop position. Blocks gonna come in between your thighs one more time. Hands come behind the head, interlacing at the base of the skull. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze the block. You're gonna hug the low ribs down and you're curling head, neck, and shoulders up to come into this little low curl position. Just start to squeeze the block in and in and in. Now, if this is too much, you can do this whole series with your head down on the mat. I want you to be sure that your knees stay stacked over your hips though, and they don't start to creep in closer towards your chest. If you find that you don't need neck support, you are more than welcome to catch a hold behind the thighs. I find that I really need neck support, so I'm gonna stay here interlaced. Eight more squeezes, go. Eight, six, go four, three. Hold the squeeze, inhale. Exhale, legs lower down. Inhale, lift them up. Both legs lower, both legs lift. So as your legs lower, I want you to actively squeeze the block. And as they lift, you're gonna stack the knees right over the hips. So when your legs reach out and down, the ribs are gonna fold in and the low belly's gonna draw down so that we're not arching into the low back. Two more, exhale out. And inhale in. The last one, exhale out. Inhale, hold it in and extend the legs straight to the sky. You're still squeezing that block, take a big breath in. One more time, exhale, you lower your legs for two. Inhale, lift them up. Yes, it's exhale lower. And inhale, lift, beautiful. Squeezing the block. It's the theme of the class, right? We gotta do it one more time. <laughs> you guys are like, if she says squeeze the block one more time, you can make it a drinking game. Don't, don't do that, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> you have two more here, exhale, you lower. Inhale, you lift. The last one down. And lift, now take this one down to your challenge point. Hold it there, just little curl of the heart, go little up, little up, little up. This is your class. Your stretch is on deck. Hug your front low ribs in and down. Squeeze the block between your inner thighs with all your might. And know that it's just a hold on deck in eight. In six, you're there in four, three, two, hold that curl, inhale. As you exhale, I want you to lower your legs just two more inches. I want you to hug your ribs down and curl your heart up just a little higher. It's four. You're here for three. You know I want you to squeeze that block. And then hug everything in. Set the block to the side. You are done with it. And gently rock from side to side here. Oh, that was a lot of inner thigh work. From here, go ahead and hug your right knee into your chest. And let your left leg extend out long. Take a moment to just massage the left hip joint, excuse me, the right hip joint, by sliding the right femur thigh bone from side to side. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, take your right hand to the sole of your right foot and find a single-sided happy baby. After all of that work you did with the block between your thighs, it should feel really good to get a nice inner thigh stretch here. Let your right inner thigh just open up to the ceiling here. Getting a stretch 
for the hip and the groin as well. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and take a twist. Right thigh comes across the body. Right shoulder anchors down into your mat. So it's a twist for the spine, but I also feel a nice stretch in my right glute here. And a release from my right AT band. Big breath in. And let it go. Inhale, come back to center. Hug the right thigh in just one more time. And then send the right leg long. And bring the left knee in towards the chest. Take a moment to massage out the left hip joint. But just gently sliding your left thigh bone from side to side. Left hand comes the sole of the left foot, and you find that single-sided happy baby. Anchoring down through both sides of the pelvis. And then try to soften your face. And really let your weight release down into your mat. One more big breath in. And let it go. Right hand to the outside of your left thigh. Find your twist. Anchor down through the left shoulder. So you get a nice opening for the left side of the chest here. And then just breathe. Don't worry about how far you're twisting or how deep you are in the stretch. Just let it feel really good and soften wherever you can soften. One more big breath in. And let it out. Keep rolling all the way over onto your belly and press yourself up and back into a child's pose. Bring the palms together to touch and fold the arms so the thumbs come to rest at the base of the skull. And the elbow tips reach forward. So you're opening up at the triceps and through the back. Exhale, extend the arms. And gently walk yourself up, keeping your legs in this shape. We're going to sweep the right arm back behind us, planting it on the mat, and then the left arm reaches up to the sky as your hips lift high, opening up to that left quadricep, pushing down to the top of the left foot and squeezing the left glute. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the hips, and then switch sides. Left hand plants behind you, right arm sweeps high, you push down to the top of the right foot, squeeze the right glute, and open up the right quadricep. Big inhale, and a big exhale. Hips lower, swing your legs around to find any comfortable seated position, and join me for one more big breath. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, to let it go. Amazing work today. That is your class. I hope that you loved it. If you have not already, I hope that you'll think of subscribing to the channel. I have a new class here every Monday, so I'll be back next week with a brand new bar with my class. Have a great day.